This is Mr. Kessler, and this is how to read average speed from a distance time graph. Let's take a look at a sample distance time graph. You're going to see that distance is on the y-axis, and time is on the x-axis. Remember that y goes vertical, and the x-axis is horizontal. The distance we have listed in meters and the time we have listed in seconds. When you guys start creating your own graphs, you're going to have to have correct labels and units of measurement for the y and the x-axis. And then this point down here at 0, 0 is what we call the origin. Origin is just another word for the start point. In this particular graph, our car starts at 0 seconds and 0 meters. It's kind of like sitting on a start line. This particular graph, the car is going to go at a constant speed. It's a straight slope going from left to right. Now later in the week, we're going to look at graphs that kind of do this bit and go up and down and slope all over the place. But in this particular graph, we're just looking to, going to look at a car that moves in a constant speed or a constant slope. All right, in order to read this graph, if I were to say, um, tell me how far, what the distance is at two seconds, you would look at two seconds, go up to the point on the line at two seconds, and then follow it over to read the distance. That distance at two seconds would be 20 meters. If we were at four seconds, we would look at this point on the line, and then if we look to the left, you'll see that the distance travel would be 40 meters. That's at four seconds. Let's look at average speed problems. I know that you guys have already learned how to read a line graph like this before, but you haven't learned how to do average speed problem from data on a graph. So this will be new material for you. Okay, the question being asked is, what is the average speed of the car at three seconds? Well, we look at three seconds here, go up, make a little point on our line, and then follow it over. You see the distance is 30 meters. All right. Now, what a lot of people are going to do is put 30 meters as your answer for the problem. That is not the answer for the problem. Let's go back and look at the question. It says, what is the average speed of the car at three seconds? Average speed. If you were to put 30 as an answer, that would be giving me the distance. That's not what it's asking for. It's asking for average speed. So you still have to do the average speed calculation. Thinking back to our previous lesson, we learned that average speed is distance divided by time. So we're going to put our distance here, 30 meters, and our time here, 3 seconds, and then we have to solve that pro problem. Distance divided by time, 30 divided by 3. Everyone knows how to do that. 30 divided by 3 is 10. The answer is 10 meters per second. And I got the meters per second from right here. Meters per second. Remember, the unit of measurement can change based on how the graph is labeled. It's very, very important that when you're reading a graph problem, that you're reading everything. You need to read your labels read exactly what the question is asking you. Maybe even helpful to underline or circle what you're being asked in the question. Let's do another sample problem. All right, it says, what's the average speed of the car at five seconds? All right, five seconds. This is the information I'm really going to need to know. And I'm going to need to know average speed. So I kind of made a little highlight here. So I go over to five seconds. Follow it up to the line, and then my distance is 50. Now, is the answer 50? No, the answer is not 50 meters. It says average speed. So we put 50 meters as the distance, 5 seconds as the time, and then speed equals distance over time, 50 divided by 5. Remember, we plug in our formula. 50 divided by 5 is 10. Our average speed is 10 meters per second. And again, I got the meters per second right here, meters per second. 
Now, in this particular graph, it's very easy to, to verify this. Average speed 10 meters per second. Every 10 meters, we should have averaged one second. So 10, you go one second. 20, you go two seconds. 30, you go three seconds. 40, you go four. And 50, you go five. It's not always going to be that easy. We're looking for an average. Because the line is constant, the um, increments are going to be the same in this one. So it's always going to be, no matter where you look at the line, it's always going to be 10 meters per, per second. 10 divided by 1 is 10. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 40 divided by 4 is 10. And, and so on, all the way up. Hope you enjoyed how to read average speed on a distance time graph. Uh, we're going to do some sample problems now, and you can prove that you're a pro at it.